It is almost here. We're talking about Cayman 27's Parade of Lights. It's taking place tomorrow, and we are here at the site where it's all happening. Here to tell us more about it, we have Monique Hay there. She is the event coordinator. Good morning. Morning. We're so excited. Me too, me too. It's going to be great. Uh, so for people, I mean, we've been talking about it a lot for the last few weeks, but just for people who aren't that familiar, aren't that sure what to expect, tell them all about it. Okay, so what can we expect? Let me just quickly do this so I remember. Okay, so tomorrow night the set, the setting will be here on the Festival Green. That's where we're shooting from, and that's the view behind us that you're going to see uh, where most of the uh, Cayman, Cayman 27 main stage is going to have all of their events. So we're going to have two choirs performing tomorrow night um, from... Uh, let's see we've got the two choirs performing and then of course we have the boat parade competition and followed by that we'll have a visit from a jolly fellow we're hoping that he makes an appearance anyway uh, and then of course we have the spectacular fireworks display it really is such a great holiday event because it's really three events in one um, I know for performances it's, it's the first Baptist sanctuary choir as well as the Church of God Children's Chapel choir um, both always put on such amazing productions every year with their own individual performances but then here as well they give us so much energy as well so it really is a great concert night for people as well without question and the the sound carries really well uh, Commander Bay has been working on well we've all been all of the crews involved there's many teams that participate in this um, have been working to Im improve the sound along the crescent as well as on the festival green and so everybody should be able to enjoy the the sounds of the music and with regard to the parade itself I've already started to receive some of the information about the themes of some of the boats this year and oh my gosh uh, we're in for a show uh, yeah <laughs> how many boats can we expect this year it's quite a lot yeah, you know what? The number always fluctuates. That's the uh, thing with boats. You know, they are in the water one day and out the next. So um, anywhere from about 14 to 16 boats. Wow, that's really exciting. And honestly, it is something to be seen because the lights, the reflection against the water, um, there's really nothing else like it here. Oh my goodness, no. And I was just thinking earlier about how fortunate we are to have this here and really um, is a part of the package that starts off the holiday season. Uh, now, of course, it's all taking place here at the festival, but really, if you're at the Crescent, you also get a really amazing view as well. Oh, without question. We, um, part of the parade route is that the parade, the vessels, when they depart from the dock, they do a, a pass by here along the Festival Green, and they also do one right in front of the Christmas tree on the Crescent. So you can't miss the boat, no matter where you are here at Commander Bay. As long as you're on the water, of course. <laughs> right, of course. You definitely want to be near the water. Um, but also here at the Festival Green, there's going to be quite a lot happening too, because there's going to be a market going on as well. Yes, Commander Bay has... Um, they're going to be putting on a Kim and Christmas market. So there'll be local food vendors and craft vendors here. In addition, there'll be, you know, porta potties and security on site. Um, uh, let me just think, there's going to be uh, restaurants here serving uh, beverages for the whole family. And they'll be set up all throughout Kamena Bay. And security is also something that's important to families that are going to be coming down. And know that there is a security of, of plenty and it's a safe place to come this holiday season certainly is something that's going to give people peace of mind. Of course, it all tops off with probably the best firework display on island. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and thankfully this year we have Logic is sponsoring our fireworks. Uh, without them, we couldn't continue to bring uh, such a display to the community and we're thankful for that and with that I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our other sponsors. Island Heritage has come on board as our title sponsor this year and in addition we have major sponsors in, um, let me just get my fingers out, um, we've got Lime and Cleveland Clinic and Scotiabank and Automotive Art and um, Hurley's and I think, oh and Pro Yacht of course and Pro Yacht I tag along the end because Pro Yacht is also our parade marshal and without Tim Bradley and his whole team, this show would not happen. There's so many people that play such important roles. Yes, indeed. Um, we're expecting thousands of people, really, so they should head out early. Come out early. Come out early at, you know, 4.30, 5 o'clock, maybe have a snack. There's going to be food available here on the Festival Green. Of course, there's the many restaurants at Kamana Bay. Um, and also get your spot along the water. 
bring a chair, bring a picnic blanket. There's plenty of places for you to perch. And um, parking is available in all the parking uh, garages and all the lots at Kamana Bay and also the adjacent lot to the Arts and Recreation Centre. And if you in had intended to come down on a boat, I would urge viewers to contact events at kamanabay.com or the Discovery Centre at 640-4000. A slip reservation is a must. It's absolutely required in order to come down on your boat. And at this point, I'm not sure if there's any slips left. So check in with them. Okay, you have to do that early then. Um, we also want to remind people, of course, that we want you to head down here um, because it's going to be such a great event, such great energy. Uh, but for people who can't make it, they can still tune in at home. Yes, and we're live streaming as well. So tune in on Cayman 27. It's going to run from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday, December 6. In addition, you can tune in online and you can encourage your friends and family around the world to do the same thing. So it's www.cayman27.ky. All right, Monique, thank you so much. We're so, so, so excited for this event, our annual event. It's been going on for I don't even know how many years at this point. It's just such a such a tradition. <laughs> it keep, that question keeps coming back to me and I'm not exactly sure of the answer. Um, Mike Martin could tell you in a heartbeat. Uh, he's the event starter, the, the uh, brain child. Is that the right word? Um, he's the one who brought it all on many years ago in Hogsty Bay and, um, and we're just really privileged to be able to continue the tradition. Yes, indeed, we absolutely are. Again, the Cayman 27's Parade of Lights takes place tomorrow, 6 p.m. here at the Festival Green on Kamana Bay. Come on out early so that way you get a great spot along the water to see the fantastic performances by the choirs, the amazing and dazzling boat parade, the fireworks are going to top it all off. And again, also, if you can't make it down here, you can still watch it live here on Cayman 27, as well as live stream it on our website, cayman27.ky. Well, don't go anywhere. We've got so much more Daybreak coming up. Stay with us.